Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, July 12th, 2024. Well, we got a big day ahead of us with the beginning of bank earnings, a PPI inflation report. So how about we take a look at what happened here overnight? Uh, first off, we had Asian markets that kind of a mix here and boy the uh, the Nikkei really had a pullback last night after hitting some new records pulled back a thousand points uh, 2.45 percent on that market and then Hong Kong had a really big day to the upside up 2.59 percent or 461 dollars to the upside quite the moves here in some of these markets and what, what we seem to be um, uh, looking at is this volatility that we're seeing here in the United States is really translating around the world to pretty considerable uh, volatility. If we take a look at European markets here this morning, now European markets are holding in there steady and doing well. We've got um, European markets green across the board. The CAC actually doing the best up um, about three quarters of a, a percent here this morning trying to recover after some of that um, well some of that French election concern. If we take a look at U.S. futures well U.S. futures have fluctuated here quite a bit this morning. Um, we were up pretty solidly and now we have faded quite a bit here so we'll want to be taking uh, that into account probably just those jitters heading in to the data points this morning um, let's take a look at what we've got going on here in oil now oil um, pushing to the upside um, continuing to show some strength here after yesterday's rally oil being up 82 cents a barrel this morning at 83.44 and Brent being up um, 61 cents at 86.01 a barrel natural gas is just slightly lower you know when we look at UNG natural gas boy um, continuing to look very ugly very weak here overall but if we take a look at the energy sector here um, ETF we're starting to hook back up and there is that possibility that this could be that higher low coming into play here on energy so keep a close eye on that now if we take a look at our precious metals here this morning quite an interesting change here we had um, uh, gold at the high point yesterday at $50 an ounce but we are pulling back this morning Right now, gold uh, $16.90 an ounce lower, pulling back here. But you will want to note in here that this is a break of this little downtrending area. And if we were to rest and hold onto this upside trend, there's still some potential upside and not that far from all time highs here. It's really going to depend on how the dollar reacts, I think, to the next round of inflation numbers here this morning. So keep an eye on that. If we take a look at uh, silver, um, um, silver also had a really good day yesterday, but gapping lower here this morning, right back into this support and trend area chart. Now, why is that going on? By the way, copper, copper slightly up, platinum and palladium is lower. Why is that going on this morning? Well, one of the things that we've got happening here is probably a little bit of caution or anticipation of the PPI number, the bond yields are going up. So the two-year bond is at 4.52% here this morning. The 10-year is at 4.22 and the 30-year is up to 4.43%. So probably a little bit of concern and we're likely going to see our dollar be a little bit stronger here this morning at least until we get um, some news on that PPI and see how that reacts to these numbers. Then um, last but not least, crypto this morning is feeling a little bit of pressure as well, um, currently down $330 an ounce. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video.
Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, try to shake off a bias and let's um, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, taking a look at this chart and trying to look at the chart for what it is, not for what we want it to be, we've got a pretty interesting situation here holding in this upside trend and we're pressing this resistance in the chart. Now you'll notice here if we were to pop up up, um, the height of that candle right there 400.02 we're not that far away from pushing right on through to some new record highs here in the chart so if we can break through this resistance if the data is strong enough watch us up here if we can push up into here and close above that area we would have new record highs in the diamonds of course popping through those wicks up there we'd have a new record high print and then anything above that is blue sky above if those bears however were to find inspiration today then a pullback here we might look at a little tiny bit of price support right there but after that after such a surge here all in one day there's really not much in there for price support until we come back down into here so that could be a big move if those bears were to be engaged here today and we have this upside trend as well to try and hold it as support breaking down below there is where we would start raising probably a little bit of fear in the market if we take a look at our spy spy had a pretty rough day yesterday finishing up with a bearish engulfing candle here on the day what's going to matter today though is how this follows through because if we look at this chart we certainly are in a bullish condition we've got good support good trend in here nothing about that chart says bearishness except that bearish engulfing so if we are able to um, push this back up no big worries i think the the concern would be is if this were to follow through to the downside that's where we would have um, some fear probably starting to creep up a little bit but even that wouldn't be enough to um, destroy this upside trend or anything we'd have to start breaking down through there and maybe testing some additional support levels down in here if those bears were to get going please keep in mind that if we get really good data today every reason to believe we could pop up here set new record highs in the spy heading into the weekend and then of course qqq very much the same pretty ugly in that selling yesterday um, a real change starting to happen here i think what we're doing is we may be deleveraging a little bit from big tech and maybe rotating into um, smaller caps and smaller stocks um, looking for a little bit more balance so maybe we this could actually be a really good thing for the market and have more of a broad-based leadership here overall now that bearish engulfing candle once again what's going to be really important to see is it how it follows through if we were to push up in here I don't think that's going to be um, any any concern because we're holding support we're holding trend um, in that chart if we were to follow through to the downside that would be a problem if we were to break the support and trend a little bit of fear could come into the market and one of the things that we have been so centric into those big tech giants here we would likely see a lot of folks running for the exit all at the same time to close out those trades and protect profit so be prepared for the possibility if those bears get going there could be some painful price moves here in uh, the nasdaq and then if we take a look at iwm iwm seems to be the benefactor of this pretty amazing here how we just shot up in a big way we had two downtrends one downtrend here a downtrend here and we just zoomed through that and not only that we broke through this massive level of price resistance here in the chart that goes all the way back to 2021 and 2022 all in one fell swoop so now the question here for this is again what is the follow-through going to be and you can see this morning we're trying to gap this up here again today watch this carefully though after such a massive move you couldn't you you couldn't 
um, look at this without the possibility that this could pull back. Now, what's going to be important is can we hold this area of price support? We have rejected this area multiple times here in the chart. Breaking through is the first half of the situation. The next thing to be watching is whether or not we can hold this area as support. So keep a close eye there on IWM. But if we can continue to push, will we start looking at this big congestion area out here in the chart to see if we can start breaking through there and start seeing IWM catching up to the rest of the market. Bears pushing down here, breaking that support that might raise a little bit of concern if we were to whipsaw or reverse that back out. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, interestingly enough, yesterday, our VIX really whipsawed around here quite a bit, but we are rising just ever so slightly, but not enough to be a major concern. You can see we're still holding in this downtrend area of the chart. See that little teeny tiny um, uptrend maybe coming in, but if we were to get a little bit of fear, coming in here you can see it wouldn't take a whole lot at this point in time to pop us up through that downtrend now remember that's just the first thing uh, uh, popping through a resistance area is really not that big a deal unless it can prove to hold it with a higher low and if that were to occur that's where some real selling might come into play but so far that's not the case. And there's every reason to believe that the data that we receive today could be uh, strong enough and the market just rejects it, you know, anything negative and says, hey, we're going to go up in the market and we could see that VIX fall right back. So no surprise on either one of those occurring. If we take a look at our uh, T21, 22. Now our T2122, we zoomed so much yesterday in uh, these indexes that T2122 raced up here to the bearish reversal zone. So even if we get great data today, we may have trouble finding good enthusiasm to push this on higher because we really stretched everything all at once in one day. So watch that carefully. If the bulls find inspiration, you'll notice we're already at 97.97. .97. We cannot go past 100 here, so <laughs> keep an eye on that. And if the bears were to find inspiration, well, we certainly opened up quite an opportunity for the bears if there's something in this market that would inspire them. If we take a look at our T2108, big improvement here in T2108, zoomed up yesterday as you can see. And again, this is hope of a rate cut, which is probably not going to be in the cards until maybe September um, on this move. But watch that carefully here as we pump up in here into some resistance. 55%, almost 56% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average now. So we went from, you know, a low 30s to 56% all in one day. Um, in a big reversal here. Now, you want to keep in mind that we still have this overall downtrend here. We'll see if we can hold this move today um, in the charts. Um, we've opened up a pretty good opportunity for a pullback if those bears were to find um, something in the data that moves us back down. T2107, the same uh, big zooming move yesterday. We went from below 50% of the stocks above their 200 zoomed up here to 57%. So um, coming into some more resistance here in the chart, we've got good support below. So we'll just have to watch and see uh, with a zooming move like that, if we were to pull back, we want to see that hold support. And then our T2101 also had a good lift yesterday, really popped up here coming up to 17. We were uh, sub nine um, um, early in the day. So that was a nice lift, but you can still see we are very lacking in market breadth overall. We're gonna need to see some substantial follow through here. And that may be a little bit difficult um, until we start coming, uh, having companies coming out from under their blackout period here on earnings. So watch that carefully. A um, lot of emotion in the market, big, big whipsaws, big potential moves are possible when we show this kind of lack of breadth. Let's take a look 
at our um, economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, well, as you know, we've got a PPI report here this morning before the bell. They're looking for the PPI, you can see, coming in at a 0.1. That's up from a negative 0.2 if it comes in that way. Year over year, they're looking for that to increase to a 2.3 from 2.2. We've got um, X Food and Energy month over month coming up two tenths of a percent from 0 0.0 to 0 0.2. To 0 0.2. We've got um, X food and energy year over year. They're looking at that remaining flat. And then, of course, X food and energy and trade services on the month basis. They're looking for that to increase as well. So that's probably raising a little bit of concern here if we see our producer prices going up. Um, so watch that carefully um, here today. Um, look for some volatility if we do happen to miss on those numbers. Um, if they come in hotter or weaker, look for the market to react pretty substantially. Then we got a consumer sentiment number. Um, they're looking at that consumer sentiment on consensus going to 68.5 up from 68.2. Still a very weak uh, consumer sentiment here overall, but that would be an improvement. And you can see they're looking for um, inflation expectations to remain at 3.0 in the consensus. Baker Hughes rig count after that, and then we're free and clear heading into the weekend. Now on the earnings calendar, we've got um, some big reports here today to be paying attention to heading into today because this is the official kickoff of earnings season. We have already heard from um, ERIC, um, Eric, um, not really particularly notable this morning, but it is gapping higher and breaking through some resistance. So keep an eye on that today on this earnings report. And we have heard from Fastenal here this morning. Fastenal's trying to break this downtrend, trying to push up in here. Keep an eye on that, trying to move higher. We have just heard from uh, JP Morgan. JP Morgan, a little pop and drop starting to happen here in the pre-market, but we're still holding in a bullish pattern. So keep an, an eye on that. We're going to hear from BK today, Bank of New York. It's already surging. Maybe it's already reported um, surging to the upside. Um, so looking good there on Bank of New York. We're going to hear from Citibank. It's feeling a little bit uncertain here as we wait for that earnings. And then a WFC report. And it looks like Wells uh, making a decision to break just a little bit lower. So not really the numbers in the banks maybe that um, help inspire this market a whole lot higher. So keep a close eye on this today. Remembering that um, big tech reports are going to be a couple of weeks away yet. So we still got a lot of time before we get into the real volatile earnings season. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, clicking that thumbs up button, leave them a brief comment. That's about the best thing that you can do to help out here with the channel. Um, the engagement with a video um, um, helps YouTube show these videos to more folks. So thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. Now, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence, be very, very careful in this market, and be paying really close attention to how the market is going to react to some of these data points. Now, as you guys know, I had mentioned yesterday to watch carefully for what happened here in the US dollar, that if the dollar were to fall based on the data, that we would see gold, silver, 
or things like that move to the upside. And that is exactly what occurred um, in that move. The PPI number today, we're seeing those bond yields going up. So we're going to have to be kind of careful here. If we happen to get a PPI number that re-energizes that dollar back to the upside, that could be problematic for us here. Um, in those commodity uh, prices. So keep a close eye on that um, this morning. This could be really important for the day. So watch uh, that. Now TLT, I also mentioned TLT, keep an eye on uh, those bonds. Um, if um, we see those bond yields falling and the value of the dollar falling, we would see those bonds bounce. Boy, did they bounce. Really nice push up here, trying to hold on to some uh, support in here now. We'll see if it can hold. But you can see this morning, we are pulling back in the pre-market, heading into this number with that uncertainty about that PPI reading. So watch that carefully here today. We could see some big moves in um, these bonds and precious metals and things like that today based on how this number uh, comes out today. You might also want to be keeping an eye on some of those um, other commodity um, stocks out there. CLF, this is a really nice looking chart, breaking the downtrend, holding a higher low. Yesterday had a really good move to the upside as a result of that weakening dollar. Watch that carefully here for that opportunity that that may be able to push on up. If we look at you know, some of our um, ag related stocks out there, uh, Moo, um, had a great day yesterday, pushing up really strongly, breaking this downtrend again, weakening dollar, increasing uh, commodity prices, helping um, the ag related stocks in here push up. So watch that carefully if this can continue to follow through and we continue to see that dollar weaken. Um, take a look at things like DBA. This is more of the true commodity, the grains commodity um, ETF in here. Also had a pretty good day. We've got a little bit of a uh, morning star type pattern. It's not placed very well in this chart pattern in here, but we can see that bullishness coming in here. If we can continue to see that dollar weaken, we may see some of these commodity prices move on higher. So watch some of those here in the market. Now, clearly uh, it's got some work to do still in a downtrend, a lot to do here to, to become, you know, just a great chart like Moo. Um, got a lot of work to do, but could have some major moves here depending on how those currencies fluctuate. Now let's take a look at what happened in some of our um, big tech here. We had some pretty rough um, trading um, uh, with NVIDIA pulling back and NVIDIA putting in this big old bearish engulfing candle. I want to point out, I know this isn't going to be a popular thing to say uh, for most folks because they, they are such believers in AI and NVIDIA. And um, I'm not saying that this is going to collapse or fall, but I want you, everyone to recognize the fact that this is a potential lower high. And if we would continue to see NVIDIA pulling back, we might come into this price support down in here. Now that doesn't hurt anything um, at all. It doesn't really change this chart all that much, but just be careful here because these are pretty big percentage moves that could occur. And it may take a while for uh, um, NVIDIA to recover back up. And if it does, that sets up that next potential lower high here in the chart. So we'll want to watch carefully if this does follow through to the downside on NVIDIA. Take a look at Google. Google had a strong pullback yesterday, but no particular problem here. We did hold support. We did hold trend in here. So I think there's still a chance that Google could bounce right back up. But once again, a failure here. If we push down and break some support in here, it's going to start raising some concern here in these big tech giants. And we could see some weakness come in all at once because everyone would probably be um, running for that exit at the same time. It's such a crowded space at the moment. Now take a look at AMD. AMD had a little bit of pullback or negative reaction to this resistance in here, but not enough to have any major concern here on that, um, on that chart in AMD. So perhaps 
AMD could just rest or consolidate here. Might even pop on through and consolidate up here. Look for that next opportunity for AMD if it can prove to hold um, this strongly here on that chart. We've got Microsoft, Microsoft running into um, not only a little bit of selling, but um, legal issues again this morning from um, um, concerns about their closeness with OpenAI. Um, so um, FTC is really looking into that um, concern that they're prioritizing profit over over safety and you can see we've got a little bit of bearishness coming in here um, so a pullback in here looks like possible it certainly possible it could continue to follow through maybe we might find some support in here perhaps if we break through that we're going to come back here into this bigger trend but that's going to once again make it really difficult on the tech sector if microsoft continues to pull back let's take a look at some things over here in the energy sector um, we're seeing energy pushing back up remember um, energy prices going higher is inflationary so you'll want to watch this carefully and one of the members um, uh, brought me this chart yesterday and brought this up and I said oh man that's a beautiful chart set a price alert on it and you can see it's trying to pop through here this morning uh, shell nice little breakthrough resistance nice little consolidating move possibly popping up here today so keep an eye on some of those oil sector stocks we do have a few of them that are looking really good we we also have quite a few of them that are just trying to come up out of these bottoms possible higher lows still a little bit on the sketchy side here with resistance above so keep an eye on that not um not out of the woods just yet here on some of them, but there are those that are looking pretty good. Also, let's take a look at some of those retail stocks. We had quite um, quite the movement here um, in um, Walmart. Um, Walmart pulling back was pretty sharp. It rallied back up at the end of the day, but check it out. Nice little resting consolidation in here. Still looking good overall. Look for that opportunity to pop on through for that next upside move here in Walmart if those bulls come into play. If we take a look at Costco, Costco raised their fees and uh, the market didn't seem to like the fact that they raised their fees. So uh, pretty strong selling here in Costco. Um, I would be a little bit concerned at this point if Costco were to follow through and break down below this area. Might be, um, might be needing a little bit more rest and consolidation now, um, rejecting that area. And then of course I need to mention Tesla. Tesla, um, um, they had a pretty substantial pullback yesterday when they announced that their robo taxi um, program is once again delayed. So uh, pretty strong pullback here. Um, I would watch this carefully. If this continues to follow through to the downside, we could see pretty substantial move because we really left behind no major support here in this price action run up. We went parabolic up and unfortunately that means sometimes we can get these really bad, 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 ugly corrections uh, because we got a little bit too excited in chasing that stock to the upside. So keep an eye on that. So with that guys, you know, um, when it comes to earnings, when it comes to these big data points, anything is possible. We could see an upside move, a downside move. We could see a non-event, a sideways move, just spinning around uncertain. Um, anything is possible. So make sure you plan your risk carefully. Try not to over trade um, a market in this kind of condition because the whipsaws can be substantial. Um, we've seen that breadth in the market be extremely low. And if we get some catalyst that really brings the breadth back into play, we could see some big moves in this market. So be prepared for that possibility in those whipsaws. I want to wish you all the very, very best today. Thank you so much for being here. And more importantly, I hope you have a wonderful, healthy weekend. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, y'all.